I found one story in your book pretty funny considering WCW's reputation where they wanted you to fly to Atlanta on your own dive and you tried to explain to them because all the flights were coming out of Atlanta so I'll let you tell the story. Yeah, it's and, and so, you know, so I took the sabbatical to, to take care of Mandy and 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 I told and again I, I I went up to what they affectionately called the Ivory Towers. Met with Jim Hurd and and Jack. I forget Jack's last name. I said, guys, this uh, here's what I have. And I just sensed they weren't thrilled about me not putting wrestling as the number one priority. And uh, you know, even though I had a wife dying of, of cancer, I said, guys, I'll, I'll come back. Uh, I, you have my word. I'll I'll come back. But I just, I've got to do this. I've got to go take care of her. And and. When I came back, when I eventually did come back, things were never the same. They, they, I could just sense their attitude towards me wasn't the same. Uh, at one point, they really tried to bury my career. I mean, they, I, I lost a, uh, I was a baby face and lost a cage match to Rick Rude in Minneapolis, Minnesota, my, my original hometown, right? Uh, you know, just right outside of. Moscow, Minnesota, but no, I'm kidding. But, uh, and, and Ole Anderson was the agent that night, and I'll never forget, I go, I pulled Ole aside, I go, when they gave us the the finish, I go, Ole, you've been around the business a long time. He yeah. said, when's the last time a baby face lost a cage match? Ah, I just I just carried the finishes, you know, I can't get a hold of anyone in the office. I'm, going, I'm not asking you to get a hold of anyone in the office, Ole. I'm a businessman, I'm here to do business, that's not good business. Now, I'm going to do it because I'm because I'm a businessman. But that's not good business, Ole. I mean, come on, really, seriously. And we don't even have an angle, and and he's going over. And so I I, I started catching, getting the picture that they're going to try to, in a sense, kind of bury me. But Ivan and Don and others taught me well enough that even in those situations how to still keep yourself over with the fans, uh, regardless if, if the promotion is trying to do that. And then the whole the whole flight, the air tickets. So so they said to me, because they wanted all of us to move to Charlotte, I mean, uh, from Charlotte to Atlanta. Well, several of us did. Flair didn't move, Arn didn't move, Barbarian didn't move, Ricky Steve, myself. Uh, several, there's eight or ten, Jimmy Garvin didn't move, and they're like, okay, well, you don't want to move, that's fine, but all of your airline tickets will be to and from Atlanta. I'm like, okay, so they'd send me my tickets, and that was back in the days when they actually were worth something, you know, it wasn't the whole non-refundable and all that kind of stuff, they were full fare, and, you know, and, and I, I, I would get the tickets, and, and I, Atlanta to Cincinnati, Cincinnati to Atlanta. And I'd look at the ticket price, and I'd call the airline, and I'd say, hey, how much is it from Charlotte to Cincinnati and Cincinnati to Charlotte? And it, sometimes it'd be $100 less, sometimes it'd be $200 less, and depending on where the ticket was going. And, and I'm like, that's just, that makes, that makes no sense. I mean, there's, they're wasting money. And I had those conversations with him. And I said, look, you're sending me a ticket for $350 from Atlanta to Cincinnati, for example, and I can get it from Charlotte for $225. I mean, I saved the office $125. You know what the response was? Oh, well. We're not, we're not changing it. That's, like, that's, in, that's insane. That's stupid. So... I would go to the airport, I'd change the, the reservation, change the ticket, go to the airport, and they'd hand me $125 cash, refund. The airline would. So I started making, and I'm not exaggerating this, I started making thousands of dollars in airline refunds because they refused to give me tickets flying out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm like, all right. It was probably one of the reasons WCW no longer exists. But I tried to do the right thing. I want people to understand. I tried to do the right thing. I, didn't, I wasn't hiding it from them. I told them up front, 
guys, I can save the office money. Just give me tickets out of Charlotte. I'm like, nope. I'm like, all right. So that was some of the stuff they were doing.